This problem is asking for two pieces of information, um, the vertical descent rate and rate of descent on final approach. So if they're asking for the descent rate from final approach um, based on a angle of descent, um, we can't use the required descent function of the E6B. We actually will have to use the charts to do this. So this problem is a little bit different. So if you have, if you're if you're going from a waypoint to another waypoint, and you know the exact altitude differences and the exact distances between those way two those two waypoints, you can use the required descent function of the E6B. But in this case, going from the final approach fix, descending at a given angle. We know that the we can see that the minimum descent altitude is 760, but that minimum descent altitude could be anywhere within this 3.5 nautical miles. So we don't know the exact distance in order to get the descent rate using the E6B. So we'll have to use the charts that are given. So in this case, we can see that the vertical descent angle is 3 degrees. So given the three degrees, now we need to determine the descent rate on the final approach. So for that, we're going to have to go to figure 27. And we're going into, we are in the three degree range. And we're about in between 90 and 120. So we're going to have to average these two numbers to get our, our descent rate rate. <clears throat> so we got 4, 7, 8 plus 6, 3, 7 divided by 2 and that gives us a descent rate of about 557 feet per minute. 